the United Nations have how many refugee people it has led to come to U.S. In 2013, my family applied for the opportunity. We had to wait for a while to see if they would accept us or not. When they accepted my family, they called us to go interview. In order to pass the interview, my parents and my older sister had to answer many questions. Me and my little sister are other age, so we didn't get to interview. They said if my family failed interview, we will not get to come to America. While we passed the interview, we had to wait two or three months. Then we had to go to Mexico for a medical test. We live in a refugee camp, so we had to take a trip to Mexico. I had never ride a trip before, so I got really dizzy and threw up. It took us a day to get to Mexico, and my family was tired. We had to stay in Mexico for a week to check our health. If we had disease like TB, cancer, heart disease, and if we did pass a medical check, you had to stay two weeks in there to do follow-up. My family don't have any health problems, so we only had to stay there for a week. While we finished checking our health, we had to come back and wait for six months. Until the UN told us that we got to go to America. If we feel the hard time, we will have to wait more than six months. All my family members passed the test, so we left our camp on August 13, 2013. Before we went to America, people who work at ROM gave my family ROM back. They said that we had to carry the ROM back until we got to America. If we carry the ROM back, people will know that we were refugee people and for refugee camp. Also, if we get lost, people who work in play will help us to find our way. So the ROM back always had to be with us. We took three planes. On the first plane, we flew to Mexico, to Japan, and we slept one another. Third, Second plan is for Japan to New York. We slept one night in New York Hotel in the morning of August 22nd, 2013. We flew to Minnesota. When I was on the plane, I was so dizzy and threw up. After we got off a third plane, we didn't know where to go and the gather world that sent us to the place where our social worker with us. Then we meet our social worker and he drove us to our house. This is my experience for home to America.